Hello everybody, it's Teddy Teddy back again playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. Today guys, I'm going to do a bit of a testing episode on a question that's been running through my head for a couple of days now. The question is, ever since the last update when they brought out the lead sickness, the large raft destroying fish, is there a way to counteract its raft destroying ability by the use of different tier building materials like wood, stone and metal? By sinking the foundations into the raft and having a box around the driver, does this help the raft last longer during a lead sickness attack? Today I'm here on the Dodo Loco server, joined by Apocalypse 669, who's going to be the cameraman for the experiment. We're about to put the theory to the test. As you guys can see, I've built four rafts. One of them just a basic raft with nothing built on it. The next is a raft with sunken wooden foundations and a box around the driver. Same again for the stone tier. And then same again for the metal tier. Right, we're here on the basic raft, but we've had to change the plan a little bit. The plan was to spawn a lead sickness in my water pen, test it inside of there. But once it was spawned in, it was able to hit my boats through the behemoth gate. So we brought the boats inside and knocked out a four wide gap in the wall so it can go through there. Then the dino was spawned on the outside of the wall. So the plan is for me to start out off my rafts, go through the gap in the wall, and then I'm going to switch to Apox camera view. So you guys have got a better view of what's going on. Right, let's go test out the basic raft. I'm just changing the camera view now. It doesn't take too long before the lead sickness starts attacking. As you guys can hopefully see, between each attack there's quite a long pause. That's because the fish is very slow and it has to manoeuvre itself for the next attack. During the long pauses, that actually gives you time to possibly escape. Well, there we go everybody, the lead synthesis took us down within 6 hits, and Alpha will take us down within 4. But now, this gives us a baseline figure for the number of hits it takes to destroy a basic raft. Let's go to the next raft now. This next raft has wooden foundations sunken into it, completely covering the bottom and top of the raft, but still giving us the ability to drive it. As you guys can see, it didn't take long for it to hit again. I'm not sure if you guys can see or not, but sometimes when it hits, it's actually hitting the foundations as well, doing damage to the foundations. So sometimes it's doing damage to both foundations and the raft. This could be a push in the right direction, in ways you could actually counter its attack. I do have a theory though, if you use the thatch roof and the wooden foundation trick to extend the raft, if you change from a 3x3 to a 4x4, maybe a 5x5, could that protect your raft from the leads?
And there we go again guys. This time it took it down in 7 hits. We could really call it 6.5. As I only hit the foundations. But that could mean a good thing. Right, now onto the stone tier raft. Right, now we're here on the stone raft. Same again with the sunken foundations covering both the top and the bottom. And a box around the driver. Let's go test it out. Same again, it didn't take too long until it got its first attack in. Though that attack was pretty hard and it really robbed the boat. Sorry everybody for the thunder and lightning in the background. I know there's one thing that's not really changed through the test. The how slow the fish is. Between each attack, it takes a long time to maneuver. I do hope that the higher tier materials like stone and metal fear a little bit more against the fish. It can withstand more attacks. Though when it actually hits the boat, it seems to hit it a lot harder and the boat rocks a lot more with the stone raft than it did with the wooden raft. I'm unsure if that's a game mechanic or that it's just getting better attacks. A lot of the time, the fish seems to swim quite far away, spin round then come back for a head on attack. There's one thing I noticed with the stone though, it didn't really hit its foundations. I am wondering if it can only damage wooden structures. And there we go again guys, it's took us down in 6 hits again. There seems to be a pattern emerging where it bypasses any structures on the raft and just hits the raft itself. Unless of course you're using wooden foundations, where we both saw it actually damage the wooden foundations and the raft together. We will just try again with the metal and hope for the best. Right, now we're on the metal raft. I did the same thing as I did with the stone and the wood. Let's go test it out. Sorry, Pug Buddy, I managed to scoop you up there. It did take a little bit longer for it to attack this time. I'm not sure why, though. But same as the stone raft, it seems to hit a lot harder than the wood. With this part of the test, I did try and manoeuvre the raft a little bit more than usual. That does seem to throw off their attacks. But once it hits hard and gets you rocking, it does catch up very fast. I do have a feeling though it will go down in 6 hits still. Jolting the raft from right to left really does throw off its attacks. Just like I said before, it got us down in 6 hits again. There does seem to be only one conclusion to the experiment, and I'll tell you in a second when I get back on land. The conclusion is, is that there isn't really a way 
you can stop it from destroying your raft. But there is things you can do to prevent it from destroying your raft just as fast as it does. One way is to use wooden foundations other than stone and metal that you think would actually help. And do not place it in a 3x3 three three layout on the raft. Go bigger, go for a 4x4 four four or a 5x5. Five five. A 5x5 five five layout would greatly increase the footprint of your raft, making it harder for the leads to hit it. And also, when you're actually getting attacked, try zigzag from left to right to avoid its attacks. Right everybody, sorry for the longer video than normal. I hope you guys found the video useful, and it can help you survive a lead attack. Right everybody, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, it all helps out so much. Well, this is Edit Edit, and I guess I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.